Hello and welcome. So it's October and that means it's a new monthly prompt in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. Now, as with last month, Nina and I have decided that we're just going to have a general prompt for the month and not set any specific weekly challenges. And the prompt is around the home and garden. You are free to interpret this in whatever way you want. It gives lots of scope again this month. Today I'm going to create some of my own collage uh, that I'll use on mixed media pieces and also some little backgrounds. I've pulled out various paints, I've collected some bits and pieces from the garden, a fen leaf, a strawberry leaf, I think that's off clematis, there was some dried stuff that was just dying back, uh, that is a poppy seed head. And I've got my very, very grungy gel plate. I've cut some sea white cartridge paper down to roughly A6 size. Now last week I think I called this Seabrook, it is sea white. And I've also got my uh, wet tissue. Seabrook, by the way, is a make of crisps, potato chips, so I clearly had food on my mind. I've got a sponge, these are kind of little tools that I just keep uh, for mark making, that was a top of an asthma inhaler. I have some of those kind of, I don't know what you would call them, the blister packs, elastic bands, a bit of a plastic dowel, some big bubble wrap, a wine cork. I'm not going to use all of these, but it's just to show you how you can make marks. I'm not necessarily looking to create these exactly, so it's not that I want to see the fern leaf in detail, because this is all about creating for the background. So I am going to speed this up a bit now. I'm going to use my gel plate quite a bit, but you don't need a gel plate. You could just put paint on these items, and you'll see me do it a couple of times. Just put paint on them and then use them to make marks. So I've got some transparent yellow oxide, and I think that's quinacridone gold that's in the fluid acrylics. And to begin with, I'm going to spray some water on this because I really just want to get a bit of colour onto some of my white cartridge paper that's there. So I didn't want this too thick, I just want some basic colour to go down to begin with. So not looking to do any fancy pulls here or anything, just getting that basic colour on as a starting point. Now for me, this is a great sort of project to do if you feel like you, you, you want to create something but you don't actually know what to do. You know, just sitting down and making collage materials or backgrounds, I think, is a lot of fun. And because I use a lot of collage in my work, it's always good to have my own stocks. Of course, I do use magazine images a lot. And, you know, I had a video the other week there where I was grunging up my magazine images. So although I use those a lot, I do actually like to have my kind of own style as well. So this is Rose Dream from Craftbox UK. It's very thick. I pulled out some paints that I haven't used in a while. So I kind of pulled out my favourites. I pulled out some that I hadn't used in a while. And I pulled out some where I really just want to get the bottles finished as soon as I can. So I put this down and I'm just going to use these pieces. These actually came off I grew salad leaves throughout the summer and once they were past their best I just let them kind of grow until they then started to die back. So quite nice. And you'll see when I pull this up I obviously get the kind of negative effect. So like I say I don't necessarily want to recognise that as uh, salad leaves that have uh, gone to seed kind of thing and there's some seeds actually coming out. But I just want to use this as pattern. And sometimes I find that when I see something like that, it actually gives me a little bit of inspiration for something else. So I'm seeing a kind of forest there. So that's something I will kind of log in my mind as perhaps a project for future. So you can use normal tissue paper for this, but as you've maybe heard me say before, that wet strength is just that bit more uh, durable 
and less likely to tear, although it can tear if it gets too wet. So you just see me basically playing away here. Uh, this is Plum. Again, it's a Craft Box UK paint, and I thought that might go quite nice on top of that pink below. Just seeing what I can get from this. So I was away for a few days and I think this is my first time back in the studio in a couple of weeks. And that's another thing that this sort of project is good for. If you've not been creating for a little while and again maybe you're not sure what you want to do or you just want to do a kind of warm up then to me this is a, a kind of great thing to do. Bringing out some fluorescence here by PBO. So when I'm doing this, I am not looking for any particular outcome. And you will see that I mix some colours on top of others. You know, the plum on top of the pink, I guess I did kind of think there, oh, those might go well together. But in other instances, you'll see that I kind of put colours that might not go well together on top of each other, because sometimes you get those, I guess, those happy little accidents. So, you know, I'm not looking for a particular outcome here. I'm just making collage papers, making background papers, and really some mark making, just to see what I have at the end of the day. And all of this will get used at some point or another in future. And there, of course, is the humble cardboard roll always handy for a bit of mark making. Now you'll see that I don't even want to pick up the full design that I've put down there. I just want to get little bits and pieces on my cards. And because I didn't clean the paint from underneath, it's actually picking up some of that as well. And that for me is where you get lots of interest from a gel plate. So I do clean my gel plate sometimes. And I've meant to have this up by now. I do have a little video showing how I clean it and nothing goes to waste, of course. So I will get that up at some point soon. So really for the next little while, all you're going to see is me just using the gel plate, using the variety of things that I brought out and uh, just doing a bit more of the same. So again, I will speed this up a little bit further, put a little bit of music on and I'll come back in at points where I think I maybe, maybe need to give you a little bit more information. I'm not today going to list all the colours that I've used because this is just about you know, if you're doing something like this, it's just about using what you've got. And it's kind of looking around and seeing what things you could get out that might make some interesting marks, either on the gel plate or, as I showed you there, I used that directly onto the card. So really just about having a bit of fun.
So I'm just about at the end of my playtime, just bringing it to a close and then I'll give you a quick look at the various papers that I've put together. Now this could be actually done as one big master board but I wanted to use lots of different colours today and lots of little bits of paper and the tissue paper especially. I'm not making them into a project today but I will be showing you how I use these uh, not necessarily next week, but in the coming weeks I'll be doing more with these. And I know a lot of you wanted to see how I actually use the little journal that I made last week, and I'll show you that too. If you did want to see a master board made with leaves, although I did it as an abstract piece of art, but it could be a master board, I'll uh, include that because I know a lot of you will be working with leaves at this time of year. So just going through my little cards and then my sheets of tissue paper. The tissue paper will undoubtedly be used as, as a collage. The little cards, they might go on to be ATCs or I might tear them up for collage as well. So some unexpected results there, most of them unexpected, but some things that just kind of make me think about other projects that I might work on. You can see a bit of that leaf there, just sufficient to tell that it is a fern leaf, but a lot of the things you can't tell. I really like this one, that was the one with the, the blister packs, it turned out really well, I loved the colours on it, and of course a couple of pieces of scrap sheets. So I'll leave the link to Nina's video below as well, and I hope you enjoy this prompt. Thanks for watching, bye for now.